Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host David and in this week's lesson we're going to deal with scaling in AutoCAD. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe to the videos. It really helps us get our stuff out there. Uh, our goal is to help people learn how to do AutoCAD and do AutoCAD simply and we help you with the little things on YouTube. Please go check out our website. We've got a variety of information on there and we'll get right into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you're scaling is you're going to want to obviously open your drawing. So I'm going to go to the regular drawing that I always use, Floor Plan 1. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to show you how we can scale. So the first thing we have to do is figure out what we're scaling, how much we want to scale it by, and the different types of scaling. Because you can scale a variety of tool or a variety of different things in your drawing. You can scale hatching, you can scale lines, you can scale an actual physical drawing like I'm going to show you here in a minute. Um, and, and it can get very convoluted and difficult at times. But once you learn how to do it, it's not really hard at all. So the first thing you're going to do is go to what you want to scale. So I'm just going to grab this piece of my drawing here. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it up here so I have a fresh slate to begin with. And then I'm going to hide my dimension layer because I just want to be able to do that. So I'm just going to click that. This layer cannot be frozen because it's the current layer. I'm going to switch my layer for a minute. Go to layer 0. And I've frozen that layer. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to figure out what you want to scale. So I want to scale, let's say, the whole drawing. So I'm going to select the entire drawing. I'm even going to scale my um, my leaders here. So what you're going to want to do is select what you want to scale. Once that is done, you have two ways of doing this. You can select the scale tool up here. If you follow my cursor up here in the top left hand corner, uh, you're going to see the scale. You can select that or you can just type in scale like I'm going to do here. So type in scale and you're going to see the scale command is going to pop up. Click enter. And then what you want to do is you want to select a point from where you are scaling from. This is very, very, very important because it, it it helps you determine, well, how big it's going to be relative to another item. So let's say I'm trying to scale a table in relation to a couch, like I have in the picture here. Um, you know, I'm going to want to select a point where it's going to make sense to scale it from. So probably the corner of the couch. In this case, I want to do the whole drawing. So I'm going to click on the bottom left-hand corner here. You don't have to select the bottom left-hand corner. You can select wherever you need to. But for this video and for this sake of simplicity, I'm going to do the bottom left hand corner. You can see that once I click, my drawing is resizing itself. I haven't clicked anything else yet. I'm simply scaling the drawing. Now you can also see near my cursor, there's also a specify scale factor. And what this does is, if it's highlighted like mine is, you can type in a factor to scale it by. So you can scale it by a foot, you can scale it by half a foot, you can scale it by whatever. Um, and whatever dimensions you're using, again, it, it can be in metric as well, um, but just scale it to whatever you need it to be. So if I do, if I scale it by, let's say, one inch, then it's going to be exactly what it was before. If I scale it to two inches, it's going to be twice as large as it was before, and so on. So if I do, let's say, I'm going to just do five inches, you can see that my drawing is now five times larger than it was before. This is very, very important for you if you're trying to do accurate measurements on how much you want to scale. Um, if you're doing metric, you don't really have to worry about the inches and feet thing. But if you're using Imperial, please be aware that you have to put inches and not feet when you're scaling. You use feet if you're going beyond, obviously, 11 inches because you know, a foot is 12 inches. If you want to scale by 24 times, you put two feet. So I'll put two feet. Press enter and you can see that my drawing is now absolutely massive. But you can also see that everything in my drawing has been scaled by that. So I've scaled the entire drawing, everything is just bigger now. Um, you can also see that my dotted line that I had down here, I'm going to go to my normal drawing, you can see that this line here is very, very dotted and it's very, you can see that it's dotted here. But if I go to my actual drawing, it's much smaller because um, my actual drawing again was just an example. Um, for my course. If you want to check out the course, please go to our website. Um, but uh, anyways, you're going to see here that the dotted line has also scaled. Um, 
that's something that you can deal with another time. Uh, you can you can change how it looks. You can change your your dotted lines and everything. But we're just going to leave it for now for simplicity's sake. So that's how you scale objects in AutoCAD. Now you're probably thinking, okay, well, I just need to I just need to scale. I don't know a line or whatever. So if I select a line that I've got. Let's see, where do I have a line? You know what, I'm just going to select a bookshelf. So I'm going to copy this, or I'm going to click it, I'm going to type in scale, and I'm going to select my base point again, same principle. You know, if, if I think it's too big, I can make it smaller, and that's the thing. With scaling, you can go smaller and you can also go larger. So just like how I described earlier, if I do one inch, it is one to one scale for what I was scaling, so nothing changes. If I do two inches, it's twice as large, three inches, three times as large, etc. If I do half an inch, or, yeah, if I do half an inch, then my my object will be half as large as it was before. So you can see here I've got 9 out of 16. So that's 9 out of 16. So it's, it's, it's half as large as it was before. Um, or sorry, 8 out of 16 would be half as large. Um, but um, you can see that at half, it's half as large in 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 height, but also in length. But you're also going to notice that it is only a quarter of the size and has a quarter of the surface area of the actual previous object. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, if you're doing, if you're resizing, rescaling uh, rectangles, squares, anything really, uh, and you do half when you're going, when you're getting smaller, this is more apparent when you're going smaller, is yes, it will be half the height and half the width but it's going to have a quarter of the size a lot of the time. So just keep that in mind. If that's not an issue to you, that's fine. You can scale it by different values. It doesn't have to be as half. Um, but you can see like here, if I go to 7 over 8, then it's you can see that there's issues with the dimensions and everything there, but that's something we can get into another time. So what we're going to do is we're going to just we're going to we're going to make this half as large. So we're going to make it a half inch. And you're going to see that it is a quarter of the size it used to be. Um, if you want to resize an ellipse, so let's go to click my ellipse, click scale. We're going to click on, you can select wherever you want. I'm going to do this corner. When you click the ellipse, you're going to, you're going to resize it from where you select and it's going to grow from there. So since I did the left hand corner, it's growing from the left hand corner and that's my, my base point. You can do the top, you can do the center, you can do wherever, um, but it really depends on where you want it to be. And you can again see that the scaling for this one, um, it, it works in the same, the same way as everything else. Um, and, and you just have to make it so it's, it's, it's unique to your drawing and whatever you need. So I'm just going to leave that the same. So, so far we've done a rectangle, we've done an ellipse, and we've done an entire drawing. I'm going to show you how to rescale a line. So just I'm going to just draw a line here. And if I click my line and I type in scale, you're going to notice when I, when I scale the line, it, it's literally like drawing the line again. So you can either shrink it, or you can make it longer, is what scaling does to lines. It makes it longer or shorter, but that's about it. Um, I wouldn't recommend you use the scale tool for just basic lines. Use scales for blocks, for you know large drawings, and for anything else that you might need. Um, so I think that pretty much wraps up the video for today. It was very short, but it was just something to help you guys out a little bit. A um, bunch of requests for it, so we're just going to do that. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment, um, like and subscribe, share the video, and be sure to check out our website. It really helps us out because um, we want to keep producing content for you guys, and it really helps if we can get in front of other people. Um, but anyways, until next time, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video.